The Virgin Islands Environmental Resource Station is the base camp for the Tallulah Expedition's trip to the Virgin Islands. The facility was built by the Navy during the 1960s. It is owned by the University of the Virgin Islands. It sits within the Virgin Islands National Park, and it is operated by an independent uh, nonprofit agency. But it is our home, and it's a great place for high school students and college students alike. The cottages are simple and comfortable. The staff is really friendly. The food is great, and we couldn't ask for anything more. When we first arrived in Beers, we came to our cabins as our first stop. This is what they look like. When we came in, they generally looked like this, and we had to make our own beds with the sheets that we brought. After a few days at Beers, this is what our cabins look like. Yeah. This is my bed. This is mine. Uh, as you can see, mine's a little worse. Yeah. We usually put all of our stuff underneath. Yeah, our like my suitcase is under the bed. There's nothing underneath mine. It's very easy to lose things in such a small cabin. In a short walk from our cabins, this here is the bathroom. At Veers, the water here is very precious because it's in sh such short supply because the only drinkable water or fresh water here is the rain. So here at Veers, the plumbing system is very fragile. So if it's yellow, let it mellow, and if it's brown, flush it down. And to conserve water, we have these small, these shower heads have switches as shown here, and this can turn the water on and off without changing the temperature, which conserves water, and also we are limited to only three minute showers. Andrew, you look a little tired. So, have you been busy today? Uh, yeah, we hiked down the Reef Bay Trail and looked at the ruins of an old sugar plantation which was around for a while until they it shut down and now it's just ruins and then we snorkeled two places we saw a stingray well go back to sleep so mr calderbert how was your day today it was a uh, fantastic day absolutely wonderful so what'd you do went on a reef bay hike uh down the reef bay trail that was great. That was some. Uh, there was some history involved in that, and uh, Mr. Pennison spent some time talking to us about the the plants and animals of the area. Then we got on a boat, which was fantastic. Dinghy came into the beach, picked us up, took us out in the boat. And we went to two different locations uh, snorkeling. Did you see anything interesting? I did. I saw a small barracuda and a large barracuda. The large barracuda was hanging out underneath the boat, getting some shade. That was pretty interesting. Here at Veers, we all we all look forward to dinner, but we all know it's time when we actually ring the dinner bell. Dinner time! Here they all come. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Why be slow? There's food. So, Alasia, how's the food here at Beers? Really good. Really good? And so what are you having right now? I'm having turkey, gravy with um, mashed potatoes and gravy, wing beans, corn, and salad. You know, when people are thinking about going on a trip like this, they often are most concerned about food. But it's been okay? Yes, it's really good, actually. <laughs> Plus, we have dessert every night. Yes, <laughs> dessert every night is really good. They make the best of it. 
After another great meal here at Fears, we have to do the dishes. Everyone puts their dishes here and wipes any scraps into the trash can. Then someone like Natalie washes the dishes in the bin and then passes it on to Alicia, who rinses it off, puts it in the sterilizing bin, and then we have Brett and Dan so dry and put away all the dishes that we did. Dan's not very good. Yeah. <laughs> and then when the dishes are done, they take all the leftover water, and it says gray water, to water the plants. Okay.